I always say there's the people do it for different reasons, you know what I mean? There's some people go out there and say, Fuck I'm in it because I'm at college and I need to get the money. Some say, well, I work all day, mate, and I need the money to make up the wages. When I first started in the game, it was purely uh, the money thing. When I was in, in the States as well, it just so happens, right, I, I was working a building trade. And I, said, I, it? I was 90, I think it was 20 years old. I was in Toronto and it's cold, there's no work. So eventually I started to, um, someone spoke to me down at the boxing club and he says, uh, oh, why don't you do uh, door work? And I thought, for a minute, I said, I don't want to get involved with that. But he got to the point where he had push come to shove. I said, well, I got to need some money. I couldn't live otherwise. Then this went from there. And when he got into it, right, and then just, uh, it's the money reason. And eventually, he just got used to where everything that was around. He didn't do it. What happened? And can I, uh, I, 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 always, yeah, I always I always think, that, I, I always think for me, right, it's, it's the best policy. I always be friendly everybody. Yeah. If you treat them with respect, they'll treat you with respect. Because, you know, I've come across some people. Where, whether it might be the smallest bloke in the place and the biggest out, right, right, you know, I always say to Swan, give you benefit of that, how you doing, mate, all right, you know. So he's, he's relaxed. He goes, yeah, I'm sorry, mate, you know what I mean? He's like an apprenticeship, isn't it? You go from your apprenticeship, right, you know, like someone, you go to college, you become an you know, electrician, you, you become an electrician, you work for a company for a while as an electrician, and you go on to have your own company. That's, you know, you, it's, just, it's a phase, isn't it, as you mature. So you work, I work on the door, and you go on, and he says, right, I'll do my own door. Then Pete Holmes, the, the guy down the club, says, oh, Ronnie, uh, the football ground, uh, Ben wants you to look, at, look after uh, a night at the football ground, the, the Burton Albion, they've got a party on. Then he went on from there. Then all of a sudden, then uh, Ben sort of says, uh, Ben Roberts, the, the, the football chairman of the ground, says, oh, uh, we've got another one. And he kept saying, another dude, can you do that? Yeah. Then he went on and he says, oh, can you do the stewarding as well? You, know, you get football crowds down there. So, and there's work in the crowd, the stewarding. And eventually I says, well, you know, I'm only one person. So, you know, I have to bring some more. Then he just sort of started building up from there. And then a couple more, then uh, Mike came on board and a few other lads came on board. And we started building it up from there. Right on the foot, then we started uh, taking the doors. And then it just went on from there. You know what I mean? It's got bigger, bigger and bigger. Like, some people get like, one for me, like, people get money in the round. And I think, can I get some money? Rather than pissed up. I put it back into something. When, when you first start and you start looking up to the most experienced guys, and then you see yeah. lads start looking up to you. It's alright really, it's not too bad, it's, it's an over 20 prize place. There are over 20 prize. We're normally pretty strict with it, you know, obviously. We'll let a few young ones if they look quite small. It's over 20 prize, you need to get, it gets quite busy come 2 o'clock. They've got a 3 o'clock license or something. There's not much our group, but they're older guys, they know what they, if, if there is a problem, they, they know what to do it. But after, after you've been here a while, you, get, you tend to get to know because the people who are regular. When you get over 25s and over 30 places, you know, the regular people who come all the time, the same, the same faces. And they seem to get used to you and they keep the same dorm and it's easier. So you, you, you literally on a lot of them on first name terms, sort of thing. And so, you, know, and so you, you tend to know, like, if someone's, if it's a, a new person around, a new person in town, you know what I mean, or in here, you know who they are, like, well, you guys walked in. They said, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's in them bags? On a Friday, there's one of us. Personally, we don't like working one, but we're taking turns. Sometimes Trevor works, sometimes I work, or gym, big gym, that is. It depends, like, we don't really like it, but Costa Ken says, ah, not many people about, right? So we, don't, we, we do it like that for a temporary basis. But like in bigger cities than that, yeah. you'll get one, one row with all doormen on it, different doors. As soon as there's any trouble, everybody say, you get 10, 20 doormen. Yeah. Just a presence or the, the escalator. Now, the, the police only help when it's. When, when, when you're on the door and all like that, they, yeah. they tend to um, stick up for the. Um, Public, yeah. You public. know, the public, really. Yeah. Because they say you're trained, you're dangerous, that's what they're saying. Yeah, and, and till, right, you know, like sometimes when they get onto the station, and, yeah. and you can talk to no reason when the, the then police there, yeah. then the police listen to you at the station. Yeah. Yeah. But while you're on the street, they they always go for the public, exactly. always. Well, I'll say it's been quiet for the past few weeks since so, the end of the month. The end of the month's normally quite busy. It gets around a lot of it. So it's just been down there. I mean, normally, it's, uh, it gets busy during the day, that's where they make the money like. Well, it's a nice place. Yeah. You get your good days, you get your bad days, whatever. What would it say? A uh, dormer's job is easy. If it's cosy. In no way. Trust me. <laughs> We get a bit of trouble, well, say trouble, 
you get a lot of people using the mouth too when uh, you get to clear them out at the end of the night. You should come out, you meet, you, know, you meet new friends, get you out to the house, you see something today. Of course, if you're saving up for something, you know, you, and you want something in your life or something like a car or a holiday, when it comes to next trip. When I first started, I got a bit weary, you know? It's like time to go on, people you're weary with, like, they're there to back you up, you know? it, gets, it gets easy. Some person said they're not scared of whatever. Sometimes on occasion you can get scared. You get into a situation, you get some big guys, you know, they can't handle themselves. You have to know how to control the situation. Sometimes you get a few knocks around. I said that it goes with the job. It's not part of the job. You get knocked around, you get knocked around, and it's a part of the job. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Bar 15. We get a nice, uh, nice crowd in here. Not much trouble, do we, mate? Yeah. Uh, older people, really. Older in the twenties and thirties, really. Right up to fifty. You know? So very little trouble. Um, the place really only holds hundred people, so it's quite a small bar. You know? But uh, it goes on until three in the morning. It's uh, it's pretty cool.